The causes of this error are various. Here are the solutions starting with the most commonly recommended ones. Method 1. Check the BIOS settings. This should be your first action if Windows prompts you to insert a boot device. Boot your computer. Keep pressing the specified key to enter the BIOS. Simply Google it to find the specific key for your computer model. Once inside the BIOS, navigate to the tab where you can find the list of devices. If you do not see the disk, here are two options for you. Option 1. Shut down your computer. Check if your disk is connected welly. If it's a hard disk it has two cables, one for power and one that connects it to the motherboard. The power supply failure is very common. Now you can try change another cable or power supply unit. Option 2. Try connecting the hard disk or SSD to a different slot on your motherboard. Method 2. Change boot order. If you have recently replaced your old system disk with a new one, it is necessary to adjust your boot priority settings. Find the boot tap, it may differ from different BIOS interfaces, but you just need to set the right boot device to the first boot option. Method 3. Set correct partition active. This solution is for MBR disk users. Next I'll show you how to set your boot partition as active by using this tool. If you find it useful please download it in the description. Due to the computer is now unbootable, you need to create a bootable disk and then troubleshoot it. Then boot from the bootable media just created. At the interface right-click on your C drive or the system reserved partition, choose Advance and choose Set Active Partition. Click Apply and proceed to complete the process. Then shut down your computer and boot from the original disk to see if the error is fixed. Method 4. Rebuild MBR. This solution is also for MBR disk users. Also you need to make a bootable media with this software. The steps are the same as above. Right-click on the system disk and select Rebuild MBR. In the pop-up window, choose the appropriate type of MBR for your Windows system. Click on Apply to execute the pending operations. Once completed, shut down your computer and boot from the original disk. Thanks for watching till here. I'll see you in the next two videos. If you have any questions please leave comments or email us.